Do you guys remember a couple months ago this happened? But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. And by involved, I want to be clear, I'm not talking about just casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex, meeting up and that kind of thing. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms of like just chatting or, or checking on people or being checked on by people that I've had a previous encounter with. Uh, but without my wife's knowledge of it and with us having a history, all of it falls under the umbrella of inappropriate, cheating, affair, stepping out. Um, de definitely not in alignment with the vows that I took. Um, and definitely not in alignment with the biblical standard of what it means to be faithful, which is the Go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. Jackson here, and today I am joined by my lovely wife. Everyone was shocked by the situation because Derek Jackson was a motivational speaker coach for women who always put men down in order to glorify the women. And then when he gets caught with another woman, it was a shock to the world. Everyone kind of assumed that down the road somewhere that they would be getting a divorce. And now they are actually getting a divorce. But there was a girl who was calling this from the beginning. <laughs> I tried to let it go, but something about this shit here was sizzling in my spirit on this fine Sunday. This is some embarrassing shit here. <laughs> Not the fact that Derek finally decided to show off his wife a little bit more, but the fact that it took a scandal for him to do so. There's nothing wrong with showing the world who you in love with, but doing it because your side twats decided to talk ugh, seems ingenuine. If you look closely at the photo, his head is facing downwards. I think this is a symbol for something. I think it symbolizes the fact that he knows we don't believe that shit. To me, this is equivalent to when men take pictures with their wives or girlfriends with long captions about how day after day the wife or girlfriend stuck by their cheating side. I'd rather you take me out to eat because I can't stomach seeing that stupid ass shit. Well, now post show podcast family, I guess this right here will do it. And this pretty much explains the picture that I posted earlier of Derrick Jackson and the young lady he's allegedly cheating with in Miami, okay? So he posted this on his Instagram about 20 minutes ago because y'all know Auntie, the one over there being nosy, uh, trying to see what, what was going on. So this is what we found right here. It says, over the past several months, my family and I have gone through many changes. Some of you have speculated while others of you have reached out to offer support as we su as we privately established this new normal for ourselves and our beautiful children. Earlier this year, after much prayer, counseling, and deep consideration, we decided to go our separate ways and file for a divorce. Now, the only thing that I'm noticing about this picture is that he's showing a photo with her looking like they're in love and him carrying her. I just kind of feel like he's still trying to fraud it out or maybe he he may be holding on to the love and she may be wanting to leave. Making the decision to file was one of the hardest decisions of my life, but I found peace knowing that our mission of raising healthy children, starting with healthy and whole parents is still being accomplished. From falling in love as just teenagers to becoming spouses and now co-parents, I'm grateful for the years we spent together and wouldn't trade them for anything. I was blessed to have such an amazing person in my life and will forever be thankful for all she's meant to our family. We ask that if you pray to please pray for us as we navigate this grieving process. If not, what exactly are people praying for when it comes to this type of situation? Why do people have to pray for you when you and your family was considered doing the right thing? You guys were obeying the rules. You were a perfect guy, Derek. That's what Derek has to understand. This is not good for him and this is not good for the brand. But are we welcome him to a red pill? You think Derek Jackson would be red pill at this point? Uh, please respect our privacy. Where well, you're telling us, sir, to respect your privacy, but you got your, your, your personal life on social media. So you put your business out here and then tell people to respect your privacy. You need to respect your privacy first, sir. And she's right. Like, let's just be real. You're the one that did just post this relationship online where it looks like you and your woman are very happy. But then as they go through the description of what he's posted, he's posting that they're going through a divorce. So he has to look at the confusion that he's relating to people. If someone doesn't read this post and they're just skimming down Twitter, they're going to look at the post and be like, oh, Derek's, Derek looks like he's happy in his relationship. But then the post is all doom and gloom. And Ms. Danielle Jackson, if I let my ass overload my mouth was a person, it would definitely be you. So don't you come back right here trying to speak no curses on somebody else for some shit your husband undid, okay? 
So family, I guess this sums up why he was seen in Miami, allegedly with another woman. This is all I have to say. The harder they try to convince you that they are in love, the less that they are in love. If you stop and look at all the couples over the year from celebrities, artists, or even people you know, if you go online right now and look at all the divorcees, they all have happy pictures. Every single one of them, because people live in the public eye whenever it comes to marriage. Marriage is for status. This is why women would marry the guy that they do not love. The only time that a man wants to marry a woman is when a woman tells you, I would marry you without a ring. I would marry you without paperwork. I would marry you without a ceremony. I would marry you without any of that. That's when you know that she's really real about it. It's when she wants to get married, but she cares less about who knows. When they want to get married and they want to tell the entire world, chances are they're just getting married for status. In Derek Jackson's situation, I think that he married a girl that was too in love with him and did not have enough swag to keep up. You have to realize he is a good looking guy that goes to the gym, works out. So a lot of Tatianas are going to be coming around, throwing it at him. Then he goes online and he becomes Mr. Popular amongst women online. And what happens? Everyone gravitates towards him. He starts getting attention in his life that he's never had before. And here he is. The, the, the Derek Jackson with the women now. He's living a life that he's never lived before. And you could tell just by looking at the woman that he married, he was trying to get over on her. That's just my opinion because she looks swagless. She looks like the type of girl that everyone wants. Very submissive, wholesome. She covered up. She wasn't out here in the media, but yet she was probably too boring to keep him. And that's what a lot of you guys have to understand that want a good woman. Are you prepared to be loyal to a, a boring woman who may not be that good looking? Because you're going to have a whole bunch of thoughts coming for you. Are you going to be able to maintain that? So you need to look at his situation and understand if you are unable to be that guy that can commit to a woman who's good to you, it's best that you not get in a relationship at all. Men are going to always have multiple women. Women can sit around and deal with it if they want to, but at the same time, they do have the right to live. We do li leave. We do live in a different world. All right. Hopefully, everybody got the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.